Uh, greetings, Team JPS. Um, this is Eric Green, Superintendent, and I wanted to spend just a couple of minutes talking through um, the recent uh, challenge that we've had uh, with work stoppage and interruption uh, through our, our network. Um, as you know, we have had some uh, challenges there, and I, I do want to confirm, and you've heard it from us, that there was um, a risk that was introduced into our system, um, likely through phishing or something like that. Um, we've been working with cyber professionals, uh, so external folks, as well as our internal IT team, with the authorities, with FBI, and with the um, National Corps of Engineers, uh, just trying to uh, fully understand what exactly happened um, and how uh, this, this occurred, but also to understand our current uh, level of, of threat and risk and things that we can do to ensure that we're as safe as we can be. Um, I want to stress, and I'll likely stress a couple of times here in this video uh, recording, that we um, at no point was any data is extracted from our system. At no point was any data extracted from our system. That's not, not student data, not uh, employee data, financial or otherwise. No data was extracted from our system. The actual um, kind of form of this threat was uh, one that encrypts the data. So makes it so that we can't access it and can't utilize it, but it doesn't re remove it from the, from the server. And, and we're able to look at our, our server, our, at our network, and, and see exactly the activity there. And so again, no data was extracted. There was not a data breach. Um, the kind of threat that we sustained was one that just makes it difficult for us to do the work, for us to access uh, data for a particular period of time there. So we know that folks have been working through, and I'm sure it's been uh, a bit challenging for, for all of us in trying to do our work and to be as effective and efficient as possible without the tools that we've become, become used to uh, using. But I did want to just uh, share that um, in knowing that there are concerns about safety and, and financial safety and uh, your own um, identity uh, theft or any of that sort of thing. So again, no data was extracted from our system. Um, we have continued to work in a very methodical way to going device by device to check them out, making sure that they don't reinfect or create uh, additional risk to the uh, network system. The actual network has been back up um, since a few days after the, the initial threat. We wanted to make sure that we did all of the cleanup work um, and that simply takes time. As you can imagine, with 23,000 scholars and nearly 4,000 employees, there are lots of uh, devices throughout our district. And so it just takes us time to go through all of those and ensure that there aren't uh, additional threats out there uh, laying dormant in the devices, waiting on someone to click or to open them up or what have you. Um, so that's really what I wanted to share. Um, I should also just mention that I know that there have been lots of questions and folks wondering if we were telling the whole story and that um, as with any crime, and this, make no mistake about it, this was a crime, a cyber crime, as with any crime, you have to be careful not to share too much information such that the investigation gets um, threatened. And we want to make sure as we're working with the FBI and the Army Corps of Engineers that they have all of the data that we can supply to them and all of the, the evidence that we can supply to them so that they can help us in finding out exactly what happened, who did it, and bringing those folks to justice because that's exactly what we're seeking to do. Um, this is not okay. This is, this is a crime. Um, the, a crime was committed here, and we want to make sure that the folks who committed the crime that they get um, their just deserve. And so um, we apologize that we couldn't share more of the details earlier on. Um, once we knew, and we knew pretty quickly after the, the uh, event was um, made, uh, we were made aware of the event, pretty quickly afterwards we were um, uh, pretty sure and, and very sure that we had evidence to say that no data was extracted. And so at that point, we felt that we could do the kind of in-depth um, work to restore devices throughout the district. Mm -hmm. So you've he heard it here um, and directly from me. Just wanted to share that information. 
um, please do uh, continue to contact us, um, my office or our um, public relations or our IT office if you have questions about the system or anything that we might need to do going forward. We will be working on some additional guidance and um, warnings for folks just to ensure that we're all doing everything that we can not to introduce any new threats into our system. And so that means uh, um, being more aware of the phishing um, types of threats that are out there and just all of the ways that the enterprising criminal mind uh, tries to get us. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for paying attention. And um, just know that we are looking out for everyone's best interest. Um, we're all in this together, and we've all got a part to play to keep us safe. And that includes cyber safety. <laughs>